Last Epoch Harbingers of Ruin is officially live. And in this video, I'm going to cover my first day experience. I'm going to discuss my initial thoughts on the new mechanic and overall experience of my day one. But before we get into the details, many of you continue to watch my content, but yet do not subscribe. If you can find it in your heart to subscribe to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it. It'll help support my content and my channel and get it to more eyes and ears. And at the end of the day, that's one of the reasons why I continue to create content. So your support would be appreciated. Last Epoch Harbingers of Ruin officially launched on July 9th. I have to say we started off with a slight delay in the release. We had to wait a couple of minutes in order to download the game. It was a small delay, but once players downloaded the game, some experienced issues. Now, I'm not going to lie. I kind of had flashbacks to 1.0 and I thought, oh my God, here we go again. But very quickly, to EHG's credit, they came out with a hotfix and to deal with the disconnect issues. And for the most part, after that was said and done, all of the issues went away for me, at least. And we got to enjoy the new content. Okay. Now, let's get into all the new content in Harbingers of Ruin and my day one impressions. Now, I had a difficult time choosing a build in, in 1.1. What was I going to start? What was going to be my cycle starter? And I have to say, this is one of the many reasons why Last Epoch is so enjoyable. The class and build dynamics and diversity in this game is just unparalleled. Unbelievable. Anyway, I had a very difficult time uh, choosing a character and I ended up going with Frost Claw Sorceress. And I have to say, I really enjoyed it. But what were the new mechanics like? First of all, before we get into the mechanics, sorry, I have to say, as soon as I logged in, the game just felt smoother crisper the the graphically i i don't i don't know how to explain it it just looked crisper and i kind of shared this with chat as it, this thought continued to come into my mind when i first launched the game and i have to say a lot of people in my chat were saying the same thing that the game ran smoother felt smoother it just looked cleaner that was my initial first take of the game it just felt good and definitely they have done some really good updates to the performance you could tell they've addressed their performance issues now during my gameplay throughout the uh, campaign and i'm just about almost in uh, level 60 uh, before i ended my stream so i did the campaign and we ran some monoliths and i have to say very smooth, hardly any buffering or, or or latency for that matter. But I, if I'm being honest, once I got into the monolith, and in 1.0, this is where the lag issues really came out in full force. But there was a slight performance drop. Very, very, very minor. Not as bad as 1.0 when I was doing the monolith. Very, very minute like you can notice it a little bit but not to the point where it was like 1.0 where it was a nuisance um but the performance congrats ehg like big big time performance improvement big time and that leads me to my first point congratulations to ehg like i said and turning the first day of 1.1 into a very crisp and smooth experience and what i would say was a flawless release of Harbingers of Ruin from a server and stability standpoint. Well done, EHG. Okay, now to the new mechanics. All right, so like I said, I played Frostclaw Sorceress and I love Sorceress builds. You guys know that if you watch my content and I went with it. I was going back and forth on a lot of builds, like I said earlier, but I landed on the Frostclaw build and I'm having a great time. We're dealing with mana issues, but I'm going to get that resolved uh, very quickly. Um, so the new mechanics. So let's start off with Evade. Uh, it's in the game and I have to say, when you first 
launched when I first launched into the game, having played Last Epoch for hundreds of hours, you kind of forgot that Evade was now in 1.1 and you had to remind yourself, oh crap, I have Evade, I can Evade. Uh, so in the beginning, initially, uh, you got to erase the fact that there was, there was no Evade in the game and now there is. So just in the beginning, it's a constant memory of remembering that they added it. And once you get past that, uh, well done EHG, so good, such a good mechanic. Um, and I have to say, it gets you out of a lot of sticky situations. Having that extra dodge is really good. And I have to say, my Lagan fight was way easier because of Evade. Uh, so great addition to the game, EHG. Now, probably one of the more popular encounters that slowly people are getting to experience is the Nemesis encounter was awesome. I loved it. I love this new encounter and it looks like so many of the player base are also enjoying it. It's getting a lot of praise. It looks like early initial thoughts. It looks like Nemesis encounter is going to be a home run for EHG. This new encounter has everything. It's positive uh, from the player base. They like it and I Personally, myself, uh, I love the fact that you come across this nemesis, it displays the loot, and you get to choose. Do you want to banish it? Do you want to challenge it? Do you want to empower it? Now, during my gameplay through the campaign and early monolith gameplay and almost level 60 on day one, I think I encountered five to six nemesis through that gameplay and i banished one i empowered twice two nemesis and the other ones i challenged and i got some good loot now out of those five or six nemesis encounter not one had an egg as an option uh so i have yet to experience that but the fights the nemesis fight early on my impressions were man i don't know about these nemesis fights they're really lackluster very easy it was just a punching bag, my first couple of nemesis encounters. Now, as I progressed through the campaign and got into the monoliths and started uh, encountering those nemesis, the boss fights actually got harder and you had to evade and uh, the boss mechanics. And it became a little bit challenging. So I found it very fun as I progressed through the game the nemesis encounter kind of got a little harder. Now, I understand when you empower a nemesis twice, clearly the encounter or the boss fight is going to be harder. So I understand that, but I just liked how the nemesis encounter, the challenge of it elevated uh, as I was progressing through the game. Now, whether that's by design or by my selection of what I chose to do with the nemesis encounter, We'll have more on that on later videos, but the boss fights, the nemesis encounter fights were really nice at the end. I really, really enjoyed them. And the loot, super good. It, it, it's a great encounter. It adds that little spice uh, every once in a while while you're grow going through the campaign and leveling up your character. It's a really, really nice touch. And I can't wait to get my first egg as an option and, and we'll see how it goes. Um, Nemesis encounter, S tier edition, in my opinion. Okay, the boss fights. Now, for those of you that don't know, 1.0 bosses had damage reduction inherently in them, but it was hidden. And a lot of us were confused. We were hitting, damaging the boss, yet nothing was happening to the health bar. And this was because it was attributed to the damage reduction that inherently the boss had. Well, 1.1 EHG addressed this by displaying the damage reduction through what looks like to be like a uh, ward. It's like a snowy fill on the boss health line and you're damaging the boss. Now the health isn't going down, but the damage reduction that's now visibly through that ward display, for a lack of a better way of explaining it, uh, it goes down. And then once that goes away, you start reducing the health of the boss. Personally, another S tier addition. Now I know it's only graphically, but I don't know. It just feels 
better. You get more satisfaction because visually in 1.0, you're hitting the boss, nothing's happening to the health bar and it's kind of demotivating. Whereas this version in 1.1, even though the health of the boss is not going down, you are seeing that you are reducing the, the the damage reduction meter, however you want to phrase it. Um, so visually, it's more pleasing, and I think it adds to the experience. I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think about this new damage reduction feature in 1.1 with the bosses. I personally think it's a great addition, and boss fights are 100% more visually pleasing and fun again, in my opinion. So that's my day one take on the boss fights. Now, overall, my first day of 1.1 was delivered as promised. I had a great first day. I enjoyed everything about Harbingers of Ruin. Like I said, I finished a campaign and I started Monoliths. We're just below level 60 and we're gonna keep grinding tonight. By the way, come and check me live on Twitch, channel name is Sammy Caps. I stream every evening on Twitch. Again, channel name is Sammy Caps. Come over, check out my build, come and talk to me. We have a cool, chill community. Come over and say hi, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, but anyway, everything about day one was great. Now, I did not encounter any Harbingers, uh, the 10 of them. Uh, I have not gotten to that, so I can't speak to anything about the Harbingers fight the mechanic. I did not get to join the faction yet, so I don't have any opinion on that, those mechanics of the game. And of course, I haven't gotten to the pinnacle boss, the probably what everyone's looking forward to as the new content in 1.1. So those three items uh, of new content that was introduced in 1.1, I have yet to experience, but we'll cover that in a another video when we experience it. But I think, Ali, um, if you're on the fence about this game and you are an ARPG fan, I think you should take a strong look at this game. It checks a lot of boxes when it comes to ARPG games. And the one thing that, and I've said this on many of my last Epoch videos, 11th Hour Games continues to elevate and advance their game. And even though they have, like I didn't even talk about in this video, the quality of life additions and features that are in this game and have been further elevated from 1.0 to 1.1. Like now you can further drill down on the loot filter it's just the quality of life in this game is unbelievable. Um, but if you're on the fence and you're deciding whether or not to purchase the game, just go watch a stream, watch some videos, watch my content on Last Epoch and decide for yourself whether or not this is something that you would enjoy. I have to say, I think you're going to enjoy it if you do decide to play it. And if you're someone that likes to try different classes and different builds. Oh my God, this game doesn't hit a home run. This game hits a grand slam when it comes to build options. It's just incredible. My whole time that I stream last Epoch, there is never one stream where more than five people tell me, I can't wait to try this other build. Everybody's always talking about I'm excited. I'm having fun with this build that I'm playing, but I can't wait to try this build. It's always a topic that comes up when I'm streaming Last Epoch, and that speaks to just the quality of builds that are in this game. So have a look, and I would seriously recommend this game if you're an ARPG fan. Anyway, that'll do it for my day one initial thoughts of 1.1 Harbingers of Ruin. I have to say... You know what is the number one sign you know the developers hit a home run? I streamed this game um, I streamed this game for around eight hours and it felt like I was only playing for five minutes and actually several of 
my uh, community in chat said the same thing. Oh my God, it's already been seven hours. It feels like I just started. Like that's how much fun uh, I was having and a lot of people in my community were having. And that speaks volumes, volumes to the quality of the game. Um, so congratulations, EHG. This looks like a really good update, but time will tell. We'll see what the other new mechanics in the game uh, once I get to experience them and we'll do another video. Okay, let me know what your thoughts are on day one. How did it go for you? Did you have a lot of disconnect issues? Let me know, I would love to hear it. How was your experience? What did you love? What did you hate? What it needs improvement? Give it to me all. We have great discussions on my uh, uh, on my comment section on my videos. So get in there and let's uh, let's get talking. I'd love to hear it. I love to hear from the community. It gives me a really good take on what the vibe is out there. So get in there. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in Antira, and we'll hope to see you next time. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.